Hey, yo guys. Yeah, I know it's been a while, um, but here we are. Let's just see how this goes. Been a while since I've been on it, so gonna be fun. Gonna have a bit of a try on this. Let's just see how this goes. New chair, wheel and sim, wheel and pedal setup as always. But let's just see how this one goes, shall we? We'll start off doing the World Hatchback Championship. First of all, let's go to Brands Hatch. It's going to be the Brands Hatch short circuit. Now, which one are we going to go for? Mm, let's go for the Civic. Yeah, I know it's typical ricer, but hey, it's going to be fun. Let's just see. Hopefully I'll be able to make more of this and soon, soon, give or take a bit, I'll be able to get a little bit of uh, extra camera work going on as well. So we will see. I'm still on the old computer as well. Um, the new computer is still taking its time to be built. No major problems with that, I don't mind. But we will see how this goes. I'm also a little bit more squidged up than what I was before, closer to the wheel than what I was with the old chair. So let's just see. And already I've made a big mistake into the first corner. I don't know if I need to upgrade my wheel and pedals yet, because for some weird reason there is a little bit of a hang lag on the pedals. Notice that when I've been messing about earlier it doesn't always seem to do what you want. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, definitely not going to get a clean race with these guys sat in the way. Might as well shift up early anyway. I'll hang on the brakes a little more this time. My mistake. Thought I could sail it on the inside, but I was a bit too close to on there. Anyway, guys, what's your favourite track and favourite car to use on here if you use if you're on GT? Be a bit cheeky. Give it a bit of a dive bomb on the inside. Yeah, I do like to use the touring car line. It is a little bit easier for me sometimes using the touring car lines. And a little tap on the inside.
take out a little bit too much speed but I still managed to just about recover it. I can never get a proper clean lap on here. I'm always making mistakes. Change it up where I don't need to, going too quickly, holding too much pace, not hitting the brakes hard enough, you name it, I'll do it. Well, it means even sometimes just dive bombing them and sticking them into Narnia. Corner doesn't have to suck you in though. Get a bit of drift on and that's it. Will pull you in. Ah, change the wrong way. That wasn't too bad. A few little mistakes, but not too bad. But hey, that was not bad for the first time back on for quite a while. And yeah, I haven't done any of the stuff today either. No challenges, nothing. So straight raw, straight out of the box, straight in the challenge. Right, next one up. Next one up is Mount Panorama. And as you guys have seen on one of the other videos, Mount Panorama was somewhere I really struggled. Well, let's do it anyway.
yeah, I know. This is probably going to be a bit of a long one, guys, but hey, whatever. While we're in the flow, why not? We've only got three laps of this place to do as well. Plus, more laps I do, the better I'll get with it. Can I have to take that guy before it gets too shallow there? Uh, yeah. I'll do a two in one. I'll back off the let these lot roll up in front just a moment just so I don't cause a bottleneck and where there is a natural point to overtake is where I'm going to overtake so I'm just going to hold and feather on some corners because right, this guy's weaving all over so I'm going to wait for a natural gap to appear and then I'm going to take it. Because there was a space there, but because he's filled it, I ended up up his chuff. Plus, I really cannot judge where all these corners are going to come at me. Yeah. As all the Aussie V8 guys say, there is only one line through here. So you cannot overtake, so you have to sit behind them all the time, basically stewing your engine. If I was braver, I would have taken the shot down there. I'm just going to go for it now. And yes, I am getting quite aggressive on the gears as well. I don't know whether that hesitation on the input is the game, me, or these pedals starting to show a bit. I don't think it helps because I spilt half a cup of tea over the pedals last week. This is the other thing, AI in the way. Bury the throttle. Let's see if I can rescue it from making a bit of a mistake there. Right, get his draft. And pull alongside. Again, pull alongside and just keep your foot buried. might only be one line through there but I am hu hustling it a little bit
Now I've only got these two ahead of me now. There's a little bit of wobble to the wheel because it is getting on a little bit and to be honest it has been bashed and it has been dropped once or twice so the wheel does have a little bit of a wobble to it. There is no feedback on this one so I don't have any force feedback. Maybe the next upgrade after I've got a PS5 that is so there's going to be a wheel which is, has force feedback so I can get a bit more of a realistic feel to it instead of it being numb because those of you who do drive in reality as you some of you probably might not know is I don't actually drive in reality so those of you who do drive would know this is a numb feeling I have done driving lessons but they don't really help me much in race driving but even just some of those lessons that I have done I do know that it is Definitely, you do get a lot of feedback through the wheel because you can feel what the condition of the road is, how the tyres are, whether the brakes are biting on a certain corner or what. So, yeah, so I've done some of these with force feedback before. But this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Firstly, <laughs> sorry, dudes. So that one completed. Now then, give us some feedback down in the comms. All feedback is always welcome. Yeah, I know I'm probably still going to be a little bit touchy about with the sound and stuff and some of the silences and the pauses and blah 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 will always be there but yeah there's obviously going to be something going on with that. Anyway, um, put your feedbacks down below whether you like the double ups whether you like them just one by one any other things that you can think of any other tracks yeah i'm probably going to do some of those online races as well i probably will film some online anyway uh this has been foxstar 1387 signing out peace <laughs>